my Camp Believe a Bowl. Today we're cooking in the kitchen again, and this time we're trying Home Chef. We've done Sun Basket, we've done Hello Fresh, we've done Blue Apron, mm -hmm. and now Home Chef. We're gonna be cooking crispy buffalo tilapia with ranch slaw and salt and pepper potatoes. So, sounds interesting, because we're not crazy about seafood, right? No. We're not really people who eat fish very often. Too often, yeah. <laughs> And this is interesting because it's crispy buffalo tilapia. It just makes it sound I more fun. I think the fry this, and that's not yeah. often that we do. We don't that. fry things very often, and we don't do fish very often. So it's two things we're not used to. The ranch slaw sounds fun, and obviously you can never go wrong with potatoes. Oh, or so fried fish. I mean, that's always fun Fried fish too. is always way better tasting yeah. than normal fish. And they're gonna be like in little nugget styles, which looks fun. And by the way, if you're interested in trying Home Chef, I will include the link down below that you can get a percentage off. I'm not sure exactly how much it is, but I'll include it right here. And then we get some percentage off eventually from our next box, so win-win. Everything comes separated in like a little, Nice package for each recipe. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we've got is tempura mix. I'm guessing flour. Okay. Probably some rice flour. I don't know. We got some canola oil for frying. We got some julienne style carrots. We got some herbs and this is dill. This is some buttermilk dill seasoning. We got a few packets of sour cream. We've got a few packets of hot sauce. Two packets of saltine crackers. Not sure what this is gonna be for. And we got two potatoes. And of course, some tilapia. We're also gonna need a cooking spray, some salt, some pepper, some olive oil, and some mixing bowls. And a sheet pan with aluminum foil on it. We're gonna coat the sheet pan in some cooking spray, and then we're gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to 400. I'm gonna start to make the slaw while he slices the potatoes, but basically I gotta get the dill and stem it and coarsely chop it. We got the potato slicer over here. Using precaution with the glove, good idea. <laughs> yeah, maybe your mandolin is starting to run out of sharpness. Yeah. I coarsely chopped the dill. So in the mixing bowl, I'm gonna combine the carrots. The sour cream is also gonna go in here. I'm gonna add the seasoning blend as well. I'm gonna add the chopped dill and a tablespoon of olive oil. It's just olive oil, sour cream, dill, seasoning. That's the slaw. Salt pepper. They didn't tell me to add. Hold on. They didn't, they didn't, they never mentioned to add salt and pepper. I don't know if it's because the seasoning uh, blend might already have it. Okay. So now we're going to add some olive oil to this, salt and pepper. And you're going to brush it on. Nice. Great thinking. That way it's like nice and even. It's not a whole lot of... You have to, you know, make a big mess of... Yeah, and then you waste olive oil sometimes, so it's not a bad idea to like just brush it on a little bit. The pan was already like sprayed, so it's not so like it needs. Side. Yeah, so it doesn't need like a ton. So now I'm going to crush these crackers. And honestly, I just think it's easier to do it in the package and then I'll just pour it out. Whoops. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty crushed to me. So now in another mixing bowl, we're gonna add sour cream and hot sauce, and you can add as much hot sauce as you want. I don't know, should we do all of the hot sauces, or should we do just like... Uh, I think what all of them. Is there? Four? Oh, it's time to put the potatoes in. And it's set for 18 and 22 minutes, so I put it for 20 minutes. I mean, I think we're just gonna do all of it. <laughs> We just had a hot sauce accident. All right, the spicy cream is done. It is just literally sour cream and hot sauce. And now we can work on the tilapia. So now we're gonna pat the tilapia dry and then we're gonna cut it into two inch pieces. Now to make the batter for the fish, I need to add this tempura mix with a fourth a cup of cold water. It says mix until a thin batter forms. So I think that looks like a thin batter. And now I'm gonna add the crushed crackers into the batter. So now we're gonna add the canola oil to a medium heat pan. Here's the hard part. We're gonna take the tilapia pieces, coat them in the batter, and then immediately put them in the hot oil. So we have to make sure the oil is hot enough, and then we also have to make sure that each piece of tilapia is battered enough. So hopefully this works out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and coat the first piece. 
think that looks fine, right? And then into the oil. Oh. I don't think it was hot enough. I don't know if it's hot enough. Well, that's our, we'll test this one out first. Let's test it. <laughs> and then it said three to five minutes, or basically until the internal temperature is 145 degrees. And we do have a little thermometer, so we can always check and not get sick. <laughs> By the way, it's three to five minutes per side, not in total. Okay, so the potatoes are ready, and this is looking pretty good. I think we can go ahead and keep adding more now that we know. It's just hard to make sure it's an even amount without it being like too much, but I guess there's no such thing as too much, right? And then, bloop! So I've still got a few pieces left and I'm starting to run out of batter. I don't know if I like didn't... Over. Yeah, if I overly coated the first ones, but let's see. We've got our little tester over here, looking good. A little burnt, but that's not a bad thing probably, just makes more crispy. All right, I managed to try to get all the batter I could out. Some are a little bit more batter than others, but you know, every piece pretty much had batter, so we're good. The potatoes look good. Here we got our little tilapia pieces with the potatoes and the slaw on the side and the spicy sour cream hot sauce thing we made on top. And we're very excited to try this because it looks delicious. Don't eat anything yet, wait. <laughs> Here we go, we got our tilapia filet. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah. It's good. Mm -hmm. I wish I put, I would have put more seasoning on the tilapia, but. It's good though, honestly. I'm gonna try the potato. I think we undercooked it. Yeah, it would have been crispier. It's good though. It's potato, like you can't go wrong with potato. I am curious about the slaw that's literally just carrots. And dill. Dill and um, sour cream and some seasoning. Yeah. Hmm. Not that bad. Yeah. I thought it was weird that it said ranch slaw and I was like, there's no ranch in this. So I guess sour cream and dill and seasoning is ranch. <laughs> I don't know, and olive oil. No wonder. All right, it's pretty good. The best part, the showstopper obviously, is the tilapia. It's crispy. I like the sour cream. Hot sauce. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big fan of tartar sauce, mm. so I like this better than tartar sauce. It's very good. It's a good meal. You approve? Mm-hmm. Home chef, we approve. <laughs> you want to sponsor us? No, okay. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna enjoy our food. If you decide to make this recipe, comment down below and let us know. You can tag us. And if you want the recipe, it's all in the description. You can check it out. And if you want to try Home Chef, use our link. Toodaloo! Toodaloo.